Question number two. Which of the following clients admitted in the emergency unit will you be suspecting to have Bell's palsy? A, a client complaining of sudden unilateral severe brief stabbing recurrent episodes of pain in the distribution of the trigeminal nerve. B, a client with painful red rash around his left ear who is also complaining of left facial weakness or paralysis. B, a client complaining of waking up in the morning with sudden facial paralysis in the lower left side of the face. Or D, a client with facial asymmetry complaints of no pain or numbness in the right side of her mouth, isn't able to smile, and has difficulty closing her right eye. Looking at the answer options, option A, a client complaining of sudden unilateral severe brief stabbing recurrent episodes of pain with distribution of the trigeminal nerve. Whenever you see the words trigeminal nerves and it is associated with pain in the jaw, this is usually referring to trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is a disease which causes intense pain in the face and jaw. The pain is so strong that this is also known as suicide disease. And option B, a client with painful red rash around his left ear who also is complaining of left facial weakness or paralysis. This answer option is referring to the process Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, which is when shingles affects the nerve near the ears. This can cause rash or facial paralysis or weakness. It can also cause ringing in the ears and hearing loss. In option C, a client complaining of waking up in the morning with sudden facial paralysis in the lower left side of his face. If the facial weakness is isolated to the lower face, stroke is most likely a diagnosis. And finally, option D, a client with facial asymmetry complaining of no pain or numbness the right side of her mouth isn't able to smile and has difficulty closing the right eye. Bell's palsy is a weakness that affects the muscles of the face. It is due to a problem with the facial nerve. The weakness usually affects one side of the face involving the mouth, eyes, and forehead. Specific clinical features includes weakness, raising of the eyebrow and furrowing of the brow, difficulty or inability to close the eye, weakness in grimacing and smiling. In most cases, this is painless. So therefore, option D is the best and correct option.